Hello to all our followers. My name is Dr. Mario Romero and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Oral Rehabilitation at Georgia Regents University College of Dental Medicine. I have for you today an aesthetic bevel tip that I hope you find useful for your everyday anterior composite restorations. So let's start with the first slide. The clinical example we are going to use is a large class 4 and the objective of this presentation is to help you understand how do you prepare what has been called the infinite bevel and why. Very often clinicians prepare a 0.5 millimeter 45 degree bevel also known as a functional bevel as seen on the photo to the left of the screen. This is a great bevel to be used on the lingual surface of a class 4, but it is too shallow for the facial and it will create a visible junction of the composite tooth interface. For this reason, this type of bevel is not recommended for aesthetics. What I recommend doing is creating on the facial a 75 degree bevel, one that extends 1.5 to 2 millimeters in width. This bevel will give us a soft transition from the fracture line as seen on the left photo. But our fully aesthetic bevel is not done yet. Once we are done preparing our wide bevel, we are going to create our infinite bevel. We are going to polish the finish line of this bevel so that it is invisible. It has a soft transition with the unprepared tooth structure. We are going to round off any sharp edges and we achieve this by using a coarse disc on a slow speed handpiece. See it for yourself. Compare the left and right photos. On the left side, I have drawn the uniform finish line. On the right side, the infinite bevel has been completed. The finish line is invisible and no sharp angles are present. Now let's evaluate the finished restoration. On the left side, our completed infinite bevel. And on the right side, the restored class 4. Can you see the composite tooth interface? Finally, I am going to show you a clinical case where my patient had two fairly large class 4s on both central incisors. These had been restored previously, but the patient was not happy with the results. I selected the shade and you can refer to our shade selection tip video that is posted on our page. After shade selection, I removed the restoration on tooth number 8 and I created my infinite bevel. You can see on the photo on the right the wide and soft transition obtained with this bevel. I completed my layering technique and my initial finishing process. I removed the previous restoration on tooth number 9 and follow the same steps. The photo on the left shows you the completed infinite bevel and the photo on the right shows the first resin composite layer. On our final slide you can compare the before and after photos. I want you to look closely at the photo on the right and how the composite tooth interface is completely invisible. I hope that you can apply this tip immediately in your practice and make a difference not only for you but for your patients. I want to share with you information on our highly aesthetic anterior composite restoration hands-on continuing education course that will be held at the College of Dental Medicine Saturday September 19th. This is a full day where I would share with you four hours of valuable information 
for the everyday aesthetic practice. And then you will restore a central incisor in our state-of-the-art sim lab following our step-by-step -step technique. Don't miss this opportunity that has limited seating and only comes around once a year. For more information, contact the Continuing Education Department calling toll-free at 1-800-221-6437. Thank you.